What's up, aficionados? I want to demonstrate how to add line to your baitcaster. To get started, you need your baitcaster reel and a rod. You need your fishing spool, some cutters, pig hooks, pig board, and a pen. Show you guys real quick how that pen works. And if you're unable to do this setup, I'll show you another way in a few minutes. Okay, we got everything we need. Let's gear up. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get our setup going. Like I said, I wanted to show you guys with the pin set up. I think I got a little bit too far away. That's why I wouldn't go in for me. And that's not going anywhere. You can go like that. You can play with it. It's not going anywhere. So now we're gonna go ahead and I would um run that through all through the eyes right but uh I'm not gonna do that like i said i'm gonna show you guys a different setup a different way of doing it later on but right now i want to show you guys this way of doing this here okay so um we're gonna do we're gonna run this here through this little eye i'm gonna show you guys this eye real quick so here we are with, we're gonna run this straight through this eye right here and just feed it straight through this eye right through that little hole right there. And you wanna get it through the other, you wanna get it through these holes right here. Right through there. If I can get it to stay in there. Just like that. And what I want to do, I just want to reel a couple times. A couple times just to get the line up in there. And there we are. All right, let me show y'all real quick. Um, I want to tie it down. So what you want to do, I'll take my scissors, just grab a little bit of section. I'm not trying to cut it, but I just want to grab a hold of it real quick. Make sure that's the uh, the line that's running back to the to the spool that I'm feeding. I just want to tie me a couple knots. Just get you a couple knots into the spool itself. I want to tie a couple knots, guys like that and now what you want to do is just you want to make sure that you can <laughs> that you can get a hold of it so just run away from it something bring it back around and uh, give it a cut right there and you're good to go so now I hope I tighten it Pretty good, y'all. So now, all we're gonna do is start reeling. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go ahead and get that right. Cause it looked like my line tangled around my, my pin a little bit. So let's get this taken care of. And I promise you, this won't come off. This is here. And I take my pin and I hook it around one of my pigs just to make sure the pin is secure so it doesn't play around and wobble around there. So now we can just go ahead and we can reel. I like to keep my thumb here as a safety measure in times because I don't want my line jumping all around, creating bird nests. 
You don't need anything like that. So um, you can keep your thumb here just as a safety measure. But uh, if you feel comfortable without doing so, you can go ahead and just uh, you know reel away. y'all just like that we had we ran through the whole spool so i had just enough left and we're done there but now all we have to do is just uh run this down here so we uh we clicked our bell and we just run it up through the eye so that's pretty that's how you um add line to your bait caster to your uh, reel and rod, your bait caster reel and rod. And um, I only used a 10 pound test monofilament. Uh, you guys can use uh, 20 or any higher test that you please, whatever, you know, standards you want to ride with. And this right here, this is a uh, six foot six medium action uh, bait caster reel and rod Ozark Trail. And it is a uh, 6.4 to one race gear ratio. I like it. It, uh, it has a smooth retrieval. Everything is good about it. So um, like I said, uh, this is how you put your line on. Thanks for watching.